I'm going to show you how to get an Xbox 360 game with disc burn to work just as if it didn't have disc burn in the first place. First of all, what is disc burn and how can you get it? Well, disc burn is like this. That line, that circular line, it goes all the way around the disc and prevents the game from working. And it's caused by the lasers in your Xbox 360 console. So if you move the Xbox in any way, the game will move just slightly. And due to the speed that it's moving, the laser in the Xbox will make the circle. Do not move your Xbox console while you have a game in it, even if the console is off. I suggest you lay your Xbox flat so that it can't tip over something that could. Next, when you first get disc burn, I put the game into your console to start playing, you will get a message to clean your game disc. However, that will not help. The game is unreadable because the Xbox can't find the information and it's not installed on the Xbox. You will have to install the game onto your Xbox. So I now install all of my games to my Xbox after getting disc burn on two of them. And since I just got one more game, uh, uh, MLB 2K11, I'm going to have to install that too. So I'm going to put this game in. And the game's going to load. Now, I'm going to have to go back to the Xbox 360 dashboard. Now I go to my Xbox. And it shows the game, MLB 2K11. And underneath it, it says A, select start playing, X to reject it, and Y for game details. I'm going to hit Y for game details. Now it says play game or install game. So, I want to install it. I'm going to hit that. Now it's going to start installing the game. This will take between 5 to 10 minutes depending on the game. The games I got Discord on were Modern Warfare 2 and Lego Harry Potter. And since my friend had Modern Warfare 2, I just borrowed it from him and installed it so that my game would work again. For the Lego Harry Potter, I had to rent the game from Blockbuster. Some stores also have machines that can fix games, but every place I went to said that theirs was broken. Since your save data for the games is all on your hard drive, you don't have to worry about losing any of your data by installing another person's game. When I got this coin for Harry Potter, Ryan was at the end of a level, and when we got it to work again, he was still on that level when he started playing. Mm -hmm. Now that it's complete, I hit A to continue, and it'll say delete game and play game. Now I can play MLB 2K11 whenever I want without having to worry about it not working ever. Thank you for watching.